Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we do have a very important topic to talk about in today's video and that is going to be about the event that Victor Font did held a couple of hours ago. And within that conference that Victor Font did have within Barcelona, one of the things that he did talk about was about the organization chart, which basically means who is going to be in charge of every section within the board of FC Barcelona if he were to be elected and this is a very important topic to talk about because i believe that if we are going to be having a brand new president it also makes sense to know who is going to be taking charge of every section and in every position within the new barcelona board and now that we are less than a month away from the elections which will be on january 24th it does make sense for us to finally know who is going to be within the team of victor font or la porta and so here is going to and so here's the picture that we do have here this is exactly Exactly what Victor Font did present within that conference. You can see that the, you can see that there is a position for the general manager. We also have the sports director and many other positions. And so within this video, what we are going to be doing is that we are going to be talking about what is going to be their role exactly. And what are these roles all about? Because right now there is some confusion on who these people are. What do these positions consist of? What, what are they all about? And so the first position that we are going to be talking about is going to be about the general manager manager and that general manager is Xavi Hernandez and as they have explained before Xavi Hernandez is the cornerstone of this whole project Xavi Hernandez and Victor Font have been talking about this position for the past five years Victor Font has also explained that the only reason why Xavi Hernandez is going to be the general manager for FC Barcelona is because he believes he has the capacity to communicate to be the leader he also believes that he has the capacity to be able to manage many many players and people and Victor Font also believes that Xavi Hernandez does have the credibility and the respect from many players within this Barcelona club. It has also been said that if Xavi Hernandez does become the general manager under Victor Font, he will be the man to make the final decision on every signing Barcelona do cross over. And at the same time, let's just say for example, if Xavi Hernandez does become the coach of FC Barcelona within the next month, he is also going to be given the exact same responsibility. So even so even if he's a general manager or a coach, he is going to be given the capacity to communicate, to lead, to manage, and at the same time, have the credibility among all of these players. Moving on to the next position, and we are going to be talking about the sports director. And the one man that is going to be the sports director under Victor Font is going to be Jordi Cruyff. As for Jordi, it has been said that Xavi believes he is the ideal replacement to become the sports director. And so if he becomes the sports director he is going to be the identifier of what the team lacks and he's also going to be the identifier on what the coaches do need and overall what is going to be the team's and coaches necessities for every season he is going to be that person so let's just say for example this Barcelona team do require a number nine Jordi Cruyff is going to be the man that's going to be looking around the market and say okay well, let's pick this striker this striker here and striker number three I'm going to make this list and then I'm going to give it towards Chai Hernandez. That is going to be his role. Victor Font has also explained that the only reason why Jordi Cruyff is going to be the sports director is because he does compliment Xavi Hernandez, which is a great idea because if you have a manager such as Xavi Hernandez and a sports director see eye to eye and they have the same vision, that is what gives a club an identity. That is what gives the club a direction. And if you eliminate the friction between the sports director and the manager, then this club sportingly will have a plan in place now moving on to the next position and we are going to be talking about the technical secretary and under Victor Font it has been said that Tito Blanco is going to be the technical secretary if Victor Font does get elected he is going to be the man that is going to be analyzing the market and propose many players to Jordi Cruyff and looking at his position I just think that Tito Blanco is going to be the second man right next to Jordi Cruyff so he will be analyzing the market alongside Cruyff during in the summer transfer window or maybe the winter transfer window or maybe even as the season does go along it is always great to have two heads within every position and if you guys do not know who Tito Blanco is he's a former Barcelona B player and he has also been the sporting director of Levante from 2016 through 2019 and throughout that time Tito Blanco was able to successfully bring Levante into the first league which is basically La Liga Levante got away from becoming a relegation team into a mid-table team and that is 
probably one of the biggest accomplishments Tito Blanco has done within the sports area. And now going into the next section and we are going to be talking about the first team coach and the B coach. Now I'm going to make this one very simple because we have talked about this many many times and so here is going to be the process that is going to be taking place if Ronald Koeman does step down. If Ronald Koeman does step down, Xavi Hernandez is going to be taking over immediately as the first team coach. Victor Font has explained that the first team coach and the Barcelona B coach are going to be having great communication on how they are going to be handling Barcelona B and the first team. And as you can imagine, they are going to be deciding what players should be promoted from Barcelona B into the first team or what players are going to be switching around from Barcelona B into the first team and then back into Barcelona B. Now, when you do become the coach of FC Barcelona, you do need to have a great resume. You cannot just come in here without any coaching experience. And looking at Xavi Hernandez's credentials, you can see that as a player in Al Saad, he has won a total of four trophies with that club. Immediately after that, he did become the coach of Al Saad. And as a coach, he has also won four trophies within a span of one year. And currently, he does sit in first place within the league table, which will be the first time if everything does go correct that he does win his first league title. And that is going to be a huge deal because if you do win the league title with a club, you are also demonstrating that you can keep consistency throughout a league season, something that Barcelona have not been showing so far under Ronald Koeman. Now heading towards the next section that Victor Font has presented, and that is about the transversal areas, which basically is the area of the mental health and the physical health of these players who is going to be taking charge within those positions. And this area does cover a multitude of things. You can see here that it does cover the medical services, the physical preparation, and the psychotherapy. There's also an area for the behavior and psychology area, which is going to be taken by Inma Puj and Tony Nadal. Then you also have a mythology area, and you also do have a talent management department. But I do want to focus on three different areas, and that is going to be about the medical services, the physical preparation, and the behavior and psychology area. And we are first going to start with the medical services. The medical services and the physical preparation is going to be covered by one person, and that is going to be Dr. Ramon, which is a very famous doctor who is also very well known within the sports area. It has been said that Dr. Ramon has become independent, so he does take care of a few players that doesn't necessarily have to always be Barcelona players. But in this case, under Victor Font, Victor Font wants to make Dr. Ramon as the front man to lead the medical team. And that is absolutely huge coming from Victor Font's run as the president. And it has also been said that the only reason why Dr. Ramon would work under Victor Font is because as soon as he heard about the plans and when he heard about what Font is going to be doing with Xavi Hernandez, that is when Dr. Ramon did say that I am going to be joining the Barcelona medical team. And then heading towards the psychology and behavior area, the person that is going to be leading charge within that department is is going to be Imna Puj. Imna Puj has worked with FC Barcelona before. One of the greatest stories that has come out, it was that back in 2009, Iniesta was suffering from depression. I, we have no idea why he was suffering from that. It could be because of the massive pressure coming from all of these tournaments. It could also be because of the physical demands that the club was demanding from this player. We don't know, but at the end of the day, Iniesta was suffering from depression. And because Iniesta was visiting Imna Puj, he immediately did recover and became a much better player physically and mentally. And so here is going to be the final verdict of Victor Font's organization. I do like what I'm hearing. I do think that this is going to please many socios, many fans in Barcelona because it is very organized. And I'm going to give everyone the two reasons why Victor Font's plan does remain strong. Number one is going to be this. Anytime there's going to be a transfer idea or there's going to be a promotion decision from Barcelona B, that has to go through a very big process in order to complete that transfer or that promotion. They don't just simply say, let's just grab this transfer and bring him in and see what happens. That is not going to be the case within Victor Font's whole board. It does require maximum preparation and a massive analysis before they do head towards a completion of a transfer or a promotion. And that is what you call organization. That is what you call 
proper planning when making sporting decisions. And that is going to lead me towards point number two, because one of the greatest things that we have to notice is that many of these people that are going to be taking charge of these positions, they do respect every position. Now, many are going to be asking, what does that mean, Kevin? So Victor Font has recently criticized over the past years about what the previous boards have been doing with Barcelona. And one of the biggest things the boards have been doing is that some members did like to step over some of the experts position. So for example, we have heard stories before that Bartomeu wanted to get into the transfer plans on what's going to be happening in the summer or in the winter. And that is a huge disrespect when it comes to respecting someone's position. It says here that Victor Font has pledged that under him, the board would stay out of day to day sports decision, which basically means everybody is going to be having their own responsibility. And if you can do that, things will go right for any club. But he did state that the only time the board is going to be stepping in into any big decision would be if it does make financial sense, which actually does make sense because right now Barcelona is not in their best economic state. And so they do have to be careful when it does come to how they're going to be handling the transfers, what's too expensive and what's not too expensive. So that is going to be it for today's Barcelona daily news. That was basically Victor Font's press conference. It was very interesting, very insightful. I like the direction Victor Font is going for. Everything seems very well planned, very organized, and I cannot wait to hear more, especially when we do head towards the last three weeks of January. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.